Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss how to identify zeros of polynomial when suitable factorization is available and how these zeros help us in constructing graph of polynomial function. Now let us see what is a polynomial function. Now a polynomial function is any function with a rule that can be written in the form f of x is equal to a n into x raised to power n plus so on plus a4 into x raised to power 4 plus a3 into x raised to power 3 plus a2 into x raised to power 2 plus a1x plus a0 where degree n has to be a whole number and a0, a1, a2 and so on up to an are all coefficients and leading coefficient an is not equal to 0. And now let us discuss zeros of polynomial. Now consider the polynomial f of x is equal to x cube minus 6x square plus 10x minus 8. Now let us find the value of f of 4. That is, we will find the value of this function for x is equal to 4. So, we will put x is equal to 4 in the given polynomial. So, we have f of 4 is equal to 4 raised to power 3 minus 6 into 4 raised to power 2 plus 10 into 4 minus 8. And this is equal to 64 minus 6 into 16 plus 10 into 4 is 40 minus 8. And this is equal to 64 minus 96 plus 40 minus 8. Further this is equal to 64 plus 40 minus 96 minus 8. Now this is equal to now 64 plus 40 is 104 and minus 96 minus 8 is minus 104 which is equal to 0. So for x is equal to 4, f of x is equal to 0 or we can say that for x is equal to 4, the given polynomial value is equal to 0 that is f of 4 is equal to 0 so we can say that 4 is a 0 of the given polynomial f of x so we can define if f of x is a polynomial function the values of x for which f of x is equal to 0 are called zeros of the function. Now, when the function f of x is graphed, then the zeros are the x intercepts of the graph. It means the graph of the polynomial will intersect x-axis at the points given by zeros. 
Now let us see what is a polynomial equation. Now let f of x is a polynomial function and if we equate f of x to 0 then it becomes a polynomial equation. Like if we write x cube minus 6x square plus 10x minus 8 is equal to 0, then this is an equation. Now if we solve this equation for x, then we obtain roots of this equation. Thus we find zero of a function and root of an equation. Now every zero of a function is also a root of the equation. Now let us discuss number of zeros of a polynomial function. Now degree of a polynomial tells us number of zeros of that function Now if degree of the polynomial is 1, then number of zeros is also 1. Now if degree of f of x is 2, then number of zeros are also 2. Similarly, if degree is 3, number of zeros are also 3 and so on. Now, let us discuss an example for this. Now, here the polynomial is given to us as x cube minus 6x square plus 10x minus 8. So, here degree of f of x will be equal to 3, that is the highest power of the variable in the given polynomial. Now here degree of f of x is 3. So number of zeros of the given polynomial function f of x will also be 3. That is it has 3 zeros. Now let us see factor of a polynomial and hence identify zeros. Now consider the product x plus 2 the whole into x minus 5 the whole. Now when we multiply we get polynomial x square minus 3x minus 10. This means that this polynomial x square minus 3x minus 10 can be written as x plus 2 the whole into x minus 5 the whole. So x square minus 3x minus 10 is equal to x plus 2 the whole into x minus 5 the whole. It means a polynomial is written as product of two linear polynomials and these linear polynomials are called factors of the given polynomial. This means x plus 2 and x minus 5 are the factors of the polynomial x square minus 3x minus 10. Now here f of x is equal to x square minus 3x minus 10. Now x plus 2 and x minus 5 are factors of this polynomial. So if we put x is equal to minus 2 in f of x, we get 
एफ एफ माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू होल स्क्वेयर माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू माइनस टेन एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस सिक्स माइनस टेन विच इज इक्वल टू टेन माइनस टेन एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू जीरो दस एफ एफ माइनस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फॉर एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू द गिवन पेरिनोमिक फंक्शन इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मीन्स माइनस टू इज अ जीरो ऑफ द गिवन पेरिनोमिक फंक्शन Now x minus five is again a factor of this polynomial. So for x is equal to five, f of x is again zero. That is, f of five is equal to zero. It means five is also a zero of the given polynomial. Thus, we can say that from factors, we can find zeros of the given polynomial. And if zeros are given, we can form the factors. Now, if alpha is a zero of a polynomial, then x minus alpha. Will be the factor of that polynomial, and if alpha and beta are the two zeros of the given polynomial, then x minus alpha and x minus beta are its two factors. For example, if x plus six is a factor of any polynomial. Then its corresponding zero is minus six. Similarly, if x minus eight is factor of a polynomial, then its corresponding zero is eight. And we also see that these factors are linear. So. When we have to find the zeros or roots of a polynomial function or equation, and we are able to factorize it easily by different methods, then we write it as a product of linear factors, and hence find its zeros or roots. Now let us see how to factorize and identify the zeros of a polynomial. First of all, let us see. How to find the common binomial factor? Now here, consider a polynomial. F of x is equal to 2x cubed minus 6x square. Now here we can see that greatest common factor of 2 and 6 is 2, and from x cubed and x square. x square is the smallest part of x that occurs in each term of the polynomial so here 2x square is common from both the terms so taking 2x square common from both the terms f of x will be equal to 2x square into 2x cube upon 2x square minus 6x square upon 2x square the whole. Now on simplifying, this is equal to 2x square into x minus 3 the whole. So here, the common binomial is 2x square. Now let us find zeros of this polynomial function. Now here you can see the degree of this polynomial is three. So this polynomial function will have three zeros. Now let us write this polynomial function as a product of linear factors. 
Now this is equal to 2 into, now x square can be written as x into x into x minus 3 the whole. Now x can be written as x minus 0. So this is equal to 2 into x minus 0 the whole into x minus 0 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. So we have written the given polynomial function as a product of linear factors. Now as x minus 0, x minus 0 and x minus 3 are the factors of the given polynomial f of x. So 0, 0 and 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial. Now here you can also see that zeros can be repeated. Now we can check that 0, 0 and 3 are zeros of the polynomial f of x. Now here you can see if we put x is equal to 0 in the given polynomial function, we get f of 0 is equal to 0. And if we put x is equal to 3 in the given polynomial function, then again we get f of 3 is equal to 0. So 0, 0 and 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial function. Now let us see how to identify zeros using graph of a polynomial. Now from the graph we will see that the graph of polynomial will intersect the x-axis at the points given by its zeros. Now consider a polynomial f of x is equal to x cubed minus 9x. Now this is the graph of the polynomial function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 9x. Now here you can see that the graph intersects x axis at 3 points and here x is equal to minus 3, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 3. So there are three zeros of the given polynomial. So if 0, 3 and minus 3 are the three zeros of the given polynomial, then x minus 0, x minus 3 and x plus 3 will be the three factors of the given polynomial. And if we multiply the three factors, that is x minus 0 the whole into x plus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole, then we get x cubed minus 9x, which is the given polynomial function f of x. Thus, x cubed minus 9x is equal to x minus 0 the whole into x plus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. Now we can check this. Now if we factorize x cubed minus 9x, then this will be equal to, now taking x common from both the terms, this is equal to x into x square minus 9 the whole, and this is equal to x into x square minus 3 square the whole. Now we know that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b the whole into a minus b the whole. So this is equal to x into x plus 3 the whole into x minus 3 the whole. Further, this can be written like this. So, 0 minus 3 and 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial. So in this session we have learned how to identify zeros of polynomial when suitable factorization is available and how these zeros help us in constructing graph of polynomial function. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.